In how many ways can six men be partitioned into three sets containing three, two, and one men? Suppose the men are labelled as one, two, three, four, five, six. Let these numbers be their labels. And we want to put them into three groups. Group A could, for example, have one, four, and five. Now the order of these three men in group A, or any other group for that matter, is not important at all. We're not making arrangements here. Group B could have, for example, two and six, and group C would then have to have the man number uh, labeled three. This here is one grouping. The question is, how many different looking groupings are possible from the six men? Let's begin with the number of groupings for the set A. We have six men to choose from, and we want to choose three to make up the members of group A. Now, once that's done, we have three less members to choose from, and we want to choose from amongst the three, two members. And finally, we have one left to choose from, who we, we will choose as the member for the last group, C. Now the total number of ways this can be done is equal to the product of these individual combinations, which equals 60. You might wonder what if we were to establish the members of a group other than A first. Say for example, if we were to establish group C first, so we choose from six available members and only one will be chosen. And once that's done, say we want to choose the members for A, we have five to choose from and we want to choose three. Finally, the members for group B, 2C2. Two you get exactly the same answer. So it doesn't matter which group you choose first, you get exactly the same number of total groupings that you can make from the six men into three groups of one, two, and three men. Now that was part A. Part B is a little bit different. Let's again label the men from one to six. Following the procedure in part, in part A, you'll have the number of ways to make up the members for group A as 6C2, and once that's done, 4C2 for the number of ways of making up the members of group B, finally 2C2 being equal to 90. So we think that there's 90 ways, there are 90 ways to make up these three sets, each having two members. But this answer is actually wrong. Now let's demonstrate this. Say for example, one particular grouping, if the groups were labeled A, B, and C, was one, two, three, six, and four, five. Such a grouping would be one out of the 90 groupings that we found from this expression. Now another grouping that'll also be amongst the 90 would be one, two, four, five, and three, six. Now, are these two groupings different? Well, yes, they are. They are different because in the first case, you have the members one and two in group A, as you do in the second case. But for B, you have three and six in the first case and four or five in the second case. So th these two groupings are different. But the question here is, does the question make any distinction between the groups? 
It clearly doesn't. It, all it wants you to form is three groups, three sets, having two members in each group. It does not make any distinction about which group is which. Now in part A, you might wonder, uh, nothing was mentioned about the groups being distinct. And the answer to that is that it wasn't that didn't need to be mentioned because we know that in one group you have three members and two in the next and one in the third. So it doesn't need to label these groups as A, B or C. From the number of people in each group, from the number of people in each, in each uh, set, we can tell that the groups are different. But in this case, because in part B that is, because the number of people in each set is the same, that being two, these two arrangements, or these two groupings, are actually the same, because we cannot distinguish which two members is in which group. So if I look at this grouping, and look at this grouping, all I can see is that in each grouping there are three sets and the, the people who are in each set is the same for both groupings. So therefore these two groupings are identical. And that isn't the only grouping that is identical to this particular arrangement. Can you see how we have these four other groupings as well? And when you look very closely, all six of these groupings are exactly the same when there is no way we can distinguish between the sets. And so if we have a grouping where one and two are next to each other in a group, are in the same group, three and six are in the same group, and four and five are in the same group, we have six seemingly different groupings that are exactly the same. So amongst the 90 groupings that we have, there's a lot of that there's there's repeats. And for each grouping we have six repeats. And this number is six because we've shown this graphically. But mathematically you can understand that the number is six because it is equal to the number of ways you can arrange three objects in a row. And that is three factorial. And so the total number of different groupings of two members is, well, it's still 6C2, 4C2, 2C2, which is equal to 90, but you have to divide that by 3 factorial to eliminate all the repetitions, which gives you 15 unique groupings.